Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. Just a revelation word that I got from the Most High. Um, in the book of Revelations, chapter 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. For the first heaven and the first earth was passed away, and there was no more sea. I used to ask the Most High, I used to ponder this. What was no more sea? At first, I would think he was talking about the earth, but then God in his mercy and his graciousness revealed what it was to me. First thing I want to do, okay, is read to you about the seeds. Okay, so we're going to go into the book of Gen Genesis chapter 1, starting at the 6th verse. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were underneath the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven in the evening and the morning of the second day. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place. And let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. Now, when we go to the book of Revelations, where I started out at, there shall be no more sea. There shall be no more sea. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. We know that in the book of Genesis, God divided the waters. He made a firmament between the waters, okay? The waters that were on the earth and the waters that were above the firmament in the heavens. We also know that everything that we're told or we learn is a pattern of those heavenly things, okay? Now, the waters in front of the, the throne of God, Revelation chapter 4, verse 6. There is a sea like unto crystal, like glass before the throne of God. Before the throne of God, there is a sea. When you read in the book of Ezekiel, the four living creatures with the throne of God above them, the firmament above them, is like unto a terrible crystal sea. Okay. Now, one of the things this is representing is God in the heavens and men on earth. We're beneath. We cannot pierce that sea. That sea divides us. Okay. The firmament. There are three heavens. We have the atmosphere that we live in, then we have outer space, and above that, we have that sea, and then the heavenly realm of God. When you think of those three tiers, okay, those three levels of heaven, all right, you can liken it unto the temple, you have the outer court, you have the inner court, and you have the holy of holies, okay, in the outer court, is the sacrificial table, the earth where Yeshua gave up his life for us. The inner court is where you wash, you have to cleanse yourself with the word of the lamb, the blood of the lamb. And in order to go through the veil in the holy of holies, you have to be covered in that blood of the lamb in order to pierce that veil, in order to make it through. Well, it's the same way with the most high. There is a separation between us and God. There's a sea between us, okay? That separating sea, that, that sea of crystal like unto glass, there's a separation. We see, even when you look at Noah, there were three stories on the boat of Noah. One window, one way to see in, one way to see out, okay? And... This thing was structured, when you watch the structure and the way God does things, he's actually showing us the pattern, okay? And it's the same with the three levels. That C, that no more C, when he says, and I'm going to read it again, there shall be no more C, all right? 
And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth was passed away, and there was no more sea. Why was there no more sea? Because there was no more separation between God and his creation being man. Okay? Where did God say he was going to dwell? Where did God say he was going to dwell? We're going. To, we're still in chapter 21, third verse. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold. The tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. God is going to dwell with us. That sea is the separation. Just like he did in Genesis, when he separated the waters, the waters beneath the firmament from those above. You have three heavens. You have the atmosphere where we live in. You have outer space. Then you have that crystal sea and the heavenly realm or the holy of holies where the most high is. That's the holies of holies that Yeshua went into. And those of us who believe in him, who have his blood, who've been washed by the blood of the lamb. You can look at it just like the pattern of the temple. Okay, you have the outer court, you have the inner court, and you have the holy of holies. But only those who are sanctioned can go before God. That veil represents that sea. And those two areas in the first part of the temple represent the two heavens. The Holy of Holies, that third heaven. But that veil represents that sea, that partition wall between us. Okay? But we know. When this world is over, when God comes back, when Yeshua comes back and he turns everything around, we're actually going back to the beginning. Many people say, well, in the beginning, God did the separating. God knows everything. He knows the beginning from the end and the end from the beginning. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He knew that Adam was going to fall. He knew there would be a separation. As a matter of fact, Yeshua told him, my kingdom is not of this world and where I am, you cannot go. OK, but there was going to come a redemption. OK, and where he says a new heaven and a new earth, no more sea, no more sea, no more separation, no more separation where he separated the waters beneath the firmament. From the waters above the firmament, it was a representation of our separation from the Most High. And when we read in the book of Revelations, where he creates a new heaven and a new earth, and there shall be no more sea, the sea represents our separation from actually being in the presence of the Most High God. Okay, that's why he makes his tabernacle, his dwelling amongst us. He will live amongst us. As a matter of fact, this is another way that you know. Okay, wait a minute. We're still in Revelations chapter 21. Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. One of the other things that I wanted to get to, and we're going to go to the book of Revelations chapter, we're still in the 21st chapter, okay, we're at chapter 20, verse 22, and I saw no temple therein, no temple, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it, and the city had no need of sun, neither of the moon to shine in it. Neither the sun nor the moon. Now understand, when he separated the waters with the firmament, when you read the sun and the moon are in that firmament, they're, they're in that structured division. Okay, you got the waters beneath the firmament. You got the firmament, first heaven, second heaven. Then you got the waters above it. But when he comes down, there's no division anymore. We don't have need of that sun. That was in that firmament where the waters, the firmament and the next level of waters, the second seeds, those seeds separated us. We read about it in the book of Revelations. How do we know this is true that there's a sea? 
and where that second set of water is, where's that separated water at? We're going to Revelations chapter 4, verse 6. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Before the throne was that sea. That's where that second sea is. But when we get to chapter 21 at the 22nd verse. As a matter of fact, we can go back to chapter 21, first verse. And I saw a new heaven. It's a new heaven. A new heaven, the firmament, a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. Why would the first heaven be passed away? Because there's no separation anymore. The atmosphere that we're surrounded with, with the sun and the moon and that water above us, between the atmosphere we're in, the outer space, and then the sea that separates us by the throne of God, there's no more separation. So it would be a new heaven. It would be a new earth. We wouldn't have need of sun or moon for light because God is going to dwell with us. There's no more division. And you can look at first heaven, second heaven, the atmosphere, the atmosphere we're in, the outer space, then the other sea because he separated the waters. And then there's heaven, the third heaven where God dwells. We can't go in there now. That's the Holy of Holies. Even when Moses, when they made the temple, he made it after the pattern. God showed him the pattern of those heavenly things. But there comes a point, they even tell you, when, when Yeshua went in, when Yeshua died, and he presented his beautiful, perfect blood for us, and we believe and we accept, and we follow that word of God, that word of God that leads us to all knowledge. Okay. There's no more separation. And that separation for his people is going to be removed so greatly that even the heavens above us change. Even the heavens above us change. Why? Because where he separated the waters from beneath, from the waters above, that separation is gone. Remember. No more sea. No more sea. We know a sea of crystal like unto glass flows before the throne of God. So it's in that third heaven. We also know it and we read about it again in the book of Ezekiel. When he sees the four beings, there is a firmament like unto crystal, a crystal sea above their heads. There's a separation. But there's coming a day, brothers and sisters, there shall be no more sea. No more sea. That sea is just like the pattern of the temple. Outer court, inner court. Holy of holy. Outer court is the atmosphere we're in. Inner court, you can liken it unto outer space. The the veil is that second sea. That second sea where only those who God elects can come into the holy of holy. But Yeshua tore down that veil. He sep he tore down that separation. That's why when when God finishes His perfect work. And we go and dwell among him and he dwells amongst us. He's coming down to earth. Yeshua and Yah are coming amongst us. I just wanted to share this revelation because it had laid on me. And I would talk to God. No more see. No more see. And he started showing me. He started showing me, brothers and sisters. The sea is the one that flows before his throne. But that sea is going to be removed because he's going to dwell amongst us. There's a river that flows out of his throne when he comes amongst us. The river with the waters of life. But there shall be no more sea. No more separation. And we knew that separation existed because it started in Genesis and it finished in Revelations. Be blessed, brothers and sisters. Shalom.